Hey guys, welcome to another section in this uh, Corel Draw training series. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can change your workspace from this to this dark experience workspace that Corel Draw has to offer. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is, for instance, you open your Corel Draw software. This is the first interface you're going to be seeing. You're going to be seeing Get Started. You're going to be seeing Workspace, right? So the first thing you need to do is click on File and click on New, right? and um i wouldn't want to change anything here like the name or anything i'll just leave it as tests and um i'm just going to leave all the values i have here as the same thing now this method i'm, I'm going to teach you the first method the first step um there are two ways to actually do this there's a part a and there's a part b so i'm going to take you through the process of showing you how the part a actually looks like right so the first thing you need to do here is you have to go to your tools then under tools you have to go to options and other under options you have to go to customizations right so click on customizations and under customizations you have appearance right so this is where we are going to be working on appearance so under appearance make sure this is always check marked and um, this is where we'll be working on where it says team and as you can see now by default it is set to light so you have to change it from light to what to dark like this is the one i've always used in my previous video so you can either change from light to there is an option for medium here it's not quite different from what you have in light then you also have medium which i would you also have dark which i would strongly recommend for persons that are already acquainted to what you have in the photoshop environment or the adobe illustrator environment right and then again you also have the black theme that you can always use but what i like to use is the dark part now now simply put you can also change the window border which is and also the desktop part of it now if you change the window border for instance now you want to change um change to this color that you have here you can see what happens this is the window border right so you can change the color you have here to the color of your choice right so <clears throat> inside of this part you can actually go to where you want your you can actually detect uh, you can actually detect how you want your environment to look like right so if i let me move this aside so if i move this to the part probably i want these areas now to be blue and all of that this is where this is actually what the window border is right so i will just simply click on the blue areas and i will just change mine to blue like this just the way it is like this right so guys for for this um i would leave it in this color it already is now something like this just so the name of my software would actually show well so you can go ahead and make adjustments now to the next one is the desktop now the desktop is this region on inside of your coral draw environment is this region inside of your coral draw environment right so let me move this aside so you see actually what i'm saying so if i go over to the desktop and i change the color to red so you can see so what i've just done is i've just changed the color of this region of my coral draw so you can go ahead and play with um, the colors you have here and just make changes just the way it is guys right and when you're done with everything you can just click ok and the changes remains permanent so when you open or you close coral draw and come back again maybe you want to work on it it actually stays the same now um one aspect i would like to also cover is this area where it says size now for instance now for most persons that have uh, problems with screen like your icons look big or extremely big you can always change the size here by default most times you can get your size at what 100 this is the default size right most times the size is always set to what 100 so this is what 100 looks like uh let me bring it back to 100 this is 150 let me move it down a bit okay this is 125 you can see that my icons here are getting bigger right compared to how it was before when it was in 88 
so for instance now i put it down a step you can see this is 100 but the problem with this is when you leave it at for instance when you leave it at this 150 as you can see now most of my icons are going to be hidden and i have to use this plus sign to actually bring them out but we don't want to go through all those stress and that process of having to see some of my tools that are inside of the coral draw so what i do by default is i move this back down like this and i set it to 100 and most times 100 might not be okay for you depending on your screen resolution most times you might have a screen that has that 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 is of a 2k resolution or you have a screen of a 3k or you have a screen of a 4k you understand why most persons might have a 1920 1080 which is also okay because that's the st st standard because that's the standard screen size right so with this one now i would like to leave mine at 88 just so i'll see most of the things that i have inside of my interface so i'll just by default set it to 88 and of course when i set it to 88 this is what 88 looks like so you can see now i now have the full tools and i also have a better view of the text the 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 size of the text inside of my corridor interface so having done all of this just go on and click ok here and boom that's all it applies to everything in your design right so i don't want to apply it to mine so i'll just click cancel and of course um if you have yours like this like when you we are greeted with the welcome screen and everything what you just need to simply do is if you want to change it to the black interface what you need to do is go to tools first and under tools click on options under options click on customizations guys so under customizations you see we are back to the appearance section of the coral draw so you can now make your changes and set it to dark as you would like it to be and change the window border the desktop and the size as you can see on my screen and if you've made changes to all of this and you need to revert it back to how it was before you can just click on this reset to default and corridor by default will do its thing and reset everything to the way it was when as it was when you installed the corridor software and when you're done with everything just simply click ok all right guys that brings me to let me just quickly change it um to the dark interface and dark and okay voila so guys that brings me to the end of this brief explanatory video as regarding how you can change from the light version to the dark theme courage has to offer Having said of this, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed and you have my post notification on. I love you all. Thank you.